His mystery riddles with twists has received 5.3 million views in one year. And you won't believe this. They make anywhere from 20 to 50k a month. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to start a similar YouTube channel using 100% free AI tools to automate the entire creative process from script writing to visuals and voiceover. Welcome to our channel where we dive into the exciting world of artificial intelligence and making some serious cash from it. I'm your host DeepMind and today we're going to spill the beans on how to create AI channels and turn them into money-making machines. So grab your favorite energy drink and let's dive right in. Okay, first things first, you're going to need to make a brand new YouTube channel. Make your way to youtube.com. Then click the sign in button. Choose use another account. Then click create account. Now enter those details, my friend. Now just enter your birthday and gender. Make that password long and hard. Agree to those terms of services. Good job. Now go click on your account on the top right and then press create a channel. Oh shoot, looks like we need a channel name. Let's make our way to ChatGPT for ideas. I asked it to give me 20 unique and original scary story YouTube channel names. These were the results. Damn, now those are some creepy names. The name Shadowed Secrets is really speaking to me. Let's use it. Let's go. Now click create channel. Looking mighty, but now we need a channel logo and banner. Let's make a logo. I'm gonna make Leonardo Dei do the heavy lifting here. I inserted this prompt into Leonardo Dei, a scary story YouTube channel logo. It's done. Looks really cool. And I used the God tier prompt to YouTube channel banner for a scary story. Channel Unreal. Engine 5, high octane render, and then put dash dash R5 colon 1 so that the image dimensions are wide enough to fit as a banner. Now we just need to go to canva.com to turn the image into a channel banner. It's a free graphic design platform, so simply sign up, or better yet, just log in using the same Gmail account we just made. Good stuff. Now let's go to create a design. We're gonna search for YouTube banner. Click that first one, then go to the left sidebar, and let's use one of these free templates as a guide for us. Now click on your picture and resize it until it fits into this green area. This may take some tweaking and adjusting. We're finished. Oh yeah, now simply go to that top right button where it says share and download it. Now we're in the YouTube studio. Click upload and select your creepy logo. There it is. Now, since it's already the correct size, just click done, then hit publish it. Do the same for the banner, my man or woman. Let's go to the channel to check it out. Oh my God, does that look good? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now we need to move on to making the videos. To start, I turned to chat GPT. I fed the bot this prompt. Write me an original, scary and interesting one. Zero, zero, zero word horror story on driving at night gone wrong in the first person perspective. Look at it go. I can already taste the money. Now we have the story, but we need a voice to read it. I went to Eleven Labs, a free tool that uses advanced AI technology to generate voices that sound like real people. I pasted the story that I copied from ChatGPT and selected the desired voice and hit download. Once you have downloaded the audio, let's proceed. All we need for our video now is a spooky picture to use as the visual. I'm going to input the prompt. A scary story YouTube thumbnail of a man driving a car at night on a deserted street. Realistic. Spooky 4K dash dash AR 16 colon 9. AR stands for aspect ratio. And a 1080p image, which is what we want, is in the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It's finito. Wow, that's beautiful. These all look amazing. And honestly, any of them would work. I'm going to choose the bottom right one for the thumbnail and then the top left one for the background image of the video. Let's put it all together, baby. It's time that we get this bread, man. Follow along and don't lose me. Go to YouTube and download some copyright free spooky music. This will work. Download that as an MP3. Then open up your editing software. I use Premiere Pro, but any free editor will work and the same steps apply. Now put your AI voiceover, your spooky picture from Leonardo.ai and the spooky soundtrack all together and you're literally done. It would be best to quickly make two to three more stories so the video can be longer. Now, before I show you the finished product, let's quickly create that thumbnail with Canva. Search for YouTube thumbnail. Upload your scary thumbnail from Leonardo.ai. Click on it and resize it. Now add the text for the thumbnail. Night Drive Horror Stories. Let's make the text red, so it's spookier. Maybe even add a text effect to make it look really good. We're done. 
Now just go and download it. Congratulations. All you've got to do now is upload the video to YouTube. Stay consistent and you will surely start getting those views. Let's move on to the moolah making part. One of the most popular ways to monetize your AI channel is through those delightful ads. Once you've got a decent number of subscribers and views, get on that YouTube partner program train and start earning that sweet, sweet ad revenue. But hey, don't stop there. Diversify your income streams, my friend. Explore sponsorships and collaborations with AI-related companies or start selling some nifty merchandise. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. That's fantastic. If you want more exciting content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that subscribe button and join the fam. I remember that night vividly. It was a dark, moonless night, and I was driving home from a friend's house on a deserted country road. The only source of light came from my headlights as they cut through the darkness, illuminating the road ahead. As I drove, my mind began to wander, and I started to feel uneasy. The silence was deafening, broken only by the sound of my car's engine and the occasional hoot of an owl. I tried to shake off the feeling, reminding myself that it was just my imagination running wild. But then, I saw something in the distance. At first I thought it was just a shadow, but as I got closer, I realized it was a person.